It's another 4th of January, a day globally celebrated as World Indigenous Peoples Day by the United Nations and adopted by the Ugoni Indigenous Ethnic Nationality around the world as their day. It's a day strong voices amongst them lend their voices to issues around the pollution of their land due to oil exploration, justice for the execution of the late environmentalist Ken Sarawiwa and eight others, and political marginalization amongst others. This year, they mark the 31st anniversary at Bori Kama LG and is expected it came with the usual festivities as the day is of great significance to them. At the event, the governor of River State, Sinalai Fubara, represented by his deputy, Professor Ngoziodu, assures the people of Ogoni land of his administration's plans to develop the area. He wants me to briefly tell you people that development, bringing development to Ogoni, is something that he has put as one of his top priorities. He knows that we have talked about electricity in Ogoni land. We have talked about security in Ogoni land. And he has asked me to tell us that those are going to be some of his top priorities of his government. Regardless of these great promises, Anukboni's son and environment activist, Senator Napobari, insists that both the federal and state governments, even after many years, are yet to fully implement their demands. When Nigeria returned to full-blown democracy in 1999, there were only two issues plaguing Nigeria, the Ogoni problem and the June 12. June 12 issue have been completely settled. The Ogoni matter has never been touched at all. All the legitimate demands of the people as enshrined in the Ogoni Bill of Rights, which the Ogoni people submitted to the federal government of Nigeria in 1990, no one has been touched. He laments that what has been released for the cleanup and restoration of livelihood of his people is just a tiny drop from the revenue of the IUCs. Mr. Kobari also condemns recent moves by some persons to resume oil exploration in Ogoni land when the pollution is yet to be fully cleaned up. People that have good thinking cap. We focus on the cleanup, get to some point, then come to discuss with the people. They are behaving as if nothing happened at all. Something happened. Because over 2,000 people were murdered, including Kensara Wewa. People died. We also heard that uh, the NMPC released $300 million for the development of Goni, and that that money was paid into somebody's pocket. We want to find out who collected the money. On its part, the Federal Ministry of Environment through the Hydrocarbon Pollution Remediation Project, HYPRAP, assures the people of Ogoni land of their commitment to implementing the recommendations of the United Nations Environment Program, UNEP, report on the cleanup of Ogoni land. HYPRAP's coordinator, Professor Nina Barani Zabe, in a statement, assures the residents that with some water schemes already completed and over 100 projects ongoing, it proves that the remediation and restoration projects have kicked off in full scale. Professor Nina Baraini Zabe in a statement noted that in the spirit of Ogoni Day anniversary, it is time for innovative and effective stakeholders' engagements to attain shared objectives. From Bori Kana, local government area of River State, Deborah Balama, Channel Television News.